interesting. They removed that old auto barrier here. I wonder if they're going to put filtered permeability instead. Yes, they patched right over it. Are they going to put something else here? Posts so people could come in off the street and start on the bike path? That would be amazing. Thank you. They're getting rid of the, they patched up those bumps. Oh, that felt so nice. It was smooth. They patched this little hole up here. Great. There, see, they patched up the holes. They put a curb here. They've put new rock. This is great. Greetings! How are you? Hi Hans, how's everything? Patched up. Good to go. They get rid of this bump and make it smooth from here to here. I will be so happy. So here, that's interesting. Hey, did, did you guys push the fence out further? Or is that where it was before? What, did you guys bring the fence out more? Is this where, because this used to be here, so you guys are bringing the fence out further to the park, yeah? That's recent. Interesting. I wonder why they made that decision. Ooh, I see smoke ahead. And the bridge is closed. Oh, so if we need any further confirmation that this actually is a bike path, well, the sign says it. So good. Now officially a bike path, not a trail. Good, they fixed up this portion here. They've reinforced the bottom here. Ooh, I see an asphalt truck. Make that thing as wide as you want because we need all the room we can get. Thank you so much for doing this, guys. Thank you. It's been decades. <laughs> oh, yeah, bring that sucker out, man. This is supposed yeah. to be less. We love our community. We love truck readers. Yeah. We do our best right here. Yeah. The wider you make it now, the more people can use it. Sometimes yeah. we have groups of uh, like a hundred people come through here all at once. Oh, good. Yes, sir. Have a, have a day. You, oh, you too. I'll give you guys the YouTube link. How's that? <laughs> I'm curious. Does this dry brown or is it going to turn black over time? Black. What are the difficulties for pigmented asphalt? Like, I've seen some places where they have red or brown, tan. Is that any different from a... It's just the native dirt they're allowed to use. So they pick them up from certain areas that they're allowed. 
bad. I wish you guys could feel this. It's smooth already. It's going to be even smoother by tomorrow. And some new drainage that they installed. They put drainage in three areas here. So that means they're probably going to be putting some uh, culverts, some mini little trenches to be able to bring that drainage underneath the bike path. Which, hey guys, that's exactly what I've been trying to tell you guys to do at the Arlington Bridge. Is put the drainage, put the drainage underneath the bike path. They said, well, we can't do it. Nice bike. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and then when they put the new asphalt. So that's something else I just thought of. After they put this new asphalt, um, will the Tahoe Pyramid Trail Group uh, call for having more markers on the trail to mark out the, you know, the mile markers? Those have been there for decades. Ah, oh, interesting, okay. Hey there, how you doing? How's it going, man? Good. Nice oh. bike, dude. Was that, was that, were you guys at bike night the other night? Because I remember did you see, did you see me? those exact same ti or tires. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, dude, we're, we're biking in downtown. Like, like two nights ago, dude. Yeah, oh, well, not I was there last week. Cool. Not but, yet. Uh, you have a nice bike, bro. Thank you. It's a, a Dutch. Yeah, how long have you done for? About a year. Oh, nice. yeah, I love the leather up. bags. That's what I think is so cool about oh, it. Yeah, oh, I, I got these on Etsy. Oh, and you have a GoPro camera on it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm taping right now. Just no, it's not Got that other section done. I wonder when they did it. Of course, people didn't wait for it to fucking dry. So there's asphalt marks on the bridge now.
Uh, that way? Really? They got that one closed off too? Ah, they are working on it. Cool. Traversing, traversing. What else did? Hello. Hi. So, most likely will happen, hopefully, later on today. Hmm. They really need to level this portion out. I noticed that over at uh, Fisherman's Park is that some of the areas that they did wasn't exactly even. I wish they would have taken a steamroller to it. Hello. Looking good. How far are you guys going to head down? All the way? Uh, what is it? So like the automobiles? Yeah, 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 Lake Street. Yeah. Cool. See, this is why I cleared off that path, because it was completely hidden under rubble. They probably, well, I don't know. I can't assume that they would have done it themselves. They might have, but it was so bad, like two feet of path was hidden underneath dirt that had been collecting for a decade at least. How are you doing today? Yes. Down this major step, I can't. Oh. So there's no crosswalk here. Where, which way are you headed? Are you headed this I, direction? I'm headed right over there. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just uh, yeah, and I can't use that. Absolutely. Here, go ahead and put put your arm around me like this. Now we're on the street. You got it. So if you just head right along here, there's a crosswalk down over there. Uh, thank so, yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Stay close to the sidewalk, okay? Good morning. Today? I'm doing all right. Doing wonderful. Hey, right here. could I ask a very small favor? Yeah. Could you level that part out? <laughs> There's a little area here. It looks like it could be smoothed out just a little bit. I know oh, it's a. Uh, yeah. We gotta, we gotta come back. Yeah. And we gonna go over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we, we wait for that to dry off. Or, yeah. And then we come for Second layer. Are they going? Oh, there's yes. going to be two layers. Yes. Are they going to be steamrolling or no? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, they're going to do it today. Perfect. Yeah, after we're done, they're going to roll her down. Good thinking. Yeah, okay. No I'll leave you guys alone. I was just curious.
So they are making Auto Museum Drive a designated bike route. Okay. Well, I, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I remember you from last year. Really? Oh, on Sierra Street. down here somewhere working right here. During the micromobility project. Yeah. Yes, That's right. I was documenting all of that. I, 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 I kind remember, of like, I was the one asked, okay. he's like, how come you're taking videos? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, this year I remember, and he's like, who's that? <laughs> like, he no. works for the city. I was like, I think. So while we're waiting for them to come back around, I would like to point out that I am currently in the parking lot for the National Automobile Museum and the easement is supposed to be 20 feet wide. This is what I've been talking about. This fence was put into the path because no one was paying attention maybe? I have no idea. I have no way to confirm. Um, but yeah, this path is not the proper 10 feet and erosion is eating up the path just beyond it. <clears throat> so we're getting just to the very edge of the path and the easement itself actually extends out just maybe like another 5 feet. So this entire parking lot here was put into the easement. It wasn't that bad of a problem until the fence was in because the entire five feet wide could, could, could be used to the very edge of the curb. Now that's not the case. So this is a very dangerous place now. Plus, if you're going to crash and burn, I'd rather go into the parking lot than over the, uh, the edge of the, the river. <sighs> Unfortunately, this concrete wall here and this raised pavilion beyond it is built right in the middle of the easement and the city claims no that's not true there was a recent article that was put out by this is reno uh in which uh, uh mr thornley you were uh, uh interview is regarding the uh bidding and consultation process for the the truckee river path um one comment was made when the property was conveyed from the redevelopment agency to harris an easement uh for the path was reserved the city officials said that easement was created in the same time frame as the fence construction. Uh, it, this makes no sense at all. And I needed to correct the record on this. I'm not sure who the city official is. It wasn't specific, but they're absolutely wrong. This easement was created in the 1970s as part of the, the, the Greenbelt project. Uh, in fact, there was a Reno, uh, uh, Nevada State Journal article that I discovered that mentioned the uh, landowner at the time had promised to dedicate it to the path. Um, so the tract map on Washoe County, which was made in 2015, shows the demarcated path uh, already set into the, uh, the, the property here in that dark gray. And the yellow area here that you see, the highlighted area, is the part which has been lost to the fence. The Auto Museum signed a deed acknowledging that this is a public access easement. So yeah, it's a, it's a problem. So what it looks like they're doing now 
temporarily I'm supposing is that Audi Museum Drive is now being designated as a bike route which is good because that means that that bumper at the edge of Auto Museum Drive will be taken away hopefully and bikes will be able to go right onto the path. So, I'm leaving the site, I confirmed before I left that yes, the city is planning on putting bollards there, filtered permeability. Makes sense, that way we can have a safe way to access the bikeway. However, the problem is, you're going to have a gap from First and Lake to Mill here, because Lake is where the entrance is supposed to be for and I'm sure a lot of people are going to still use it but at least they have a safer way to access it through the auto museum drive anyway that's about it I'm going to go grab something to eat see you guys later